Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Brie and it is Friday so you already know I'm gonna give y'all a full set. Go ahead and get what you need. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get comfy, get ready because we about to get into it. All right, beauty, so you already know the first thing that we do is push them cuticles back and y'all see that growth? Yes, it's definitely been over three and a half weeks, probably was going on four weeks, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and push that cuticle back cause we need to clean it on up. Next, I go ahead and use my circular drill bit to finish cleaning off the cuticle, taking off the dead skin and everything, and really make it look nice. I go ahead and remove the extra dust that's around the cuticles and then I proceed with taking the gel off. I use my coarse drill bit to do this and I put my speed like medium high. I don't really know how strong like my hands are and stuff with the drill bit and you know if I cause too much tension or friction with holding it in one spot. So I really, really try my best to keep it at a low speed so I don't cause my client to burn. I There are some times I do, hey, I'm learning, you know, but I try to be mindful of that to not happen again. I also heard that using these ceramic drill bits rather than the metal drill bits, it helps prevent causing that tension and friction and the heat, but it still does it. Maybe because I'm, I don't know, I'm just, I'm still learning. So who knows? But I was actually interested in getting some metal ones. So your girl might switch up. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I pretty much leave it at a medium high speed and I go ahead and go in and remove off all the gel as much as possible and do what it do. <laughs>
All right, beauties, here I am going to need to take the nails off because as you can see around the cuticle area, those cloudy white spots, that is where the nail is lifting. And due to me not using primer and dehydrator because I do not have it yet, that is the cause of that. So I will be getting some for sure. That is definitely an important step in every acrylic nail nail technicians you know job so i'm definitely gonna get some i don't have none now because i'm trying to work with what i got you know and she definitely knows you know the whole situation what's going on and she's you know agreeable to it definitely let your clients know what you're working with and what you got but that is a cause of it so unfortunately i cannot refill these nails because there's not going to be no fungi on my clients nails okay we're going to go ahead and just take them off and start from scratch so that's what we're doing here i am drenching these cotton balls in nail polish remover 100% acetone and I'm leaving them on her hands for about 15 minutes and then I go ahead and I check make sure it's good and if it's not then I do another five minutes and I go on from there So after the 15 to 20 minutes, I go ahead and just take it off and then I go in with my coarse drill bit and remove the gooey acrylic so we can go ahead and get a fresh set on her hands. Hey beauties, I just wanted to throw a disclaimer out there and let y'all all know again that I am a beginner nail tech. Everything I do is self-taught and I also go based off of some YouTube videos of some other nail technicians that actually have their certifications and stuff. I go based off of what they say as well. And just so you guys know, this coarse drill bit I am using at a low to medium speed because I don't wanna cause too much damage to her natural nail. And when I feel that the acrylic is filed down the thinnest the thinnest as possible then I just go ahead and stop and leave it here I go in with my 180 sanding band to go ahead and just get the rest of those little pieces of acrylic off and then also remove any of them oils and things off of her nail so when I attach the nail tip the glue sticks correctly <laughs> And just to clarify, I do try to remove all the acrylic off as much as possible, but I'm not going to risk burning my client to make sure it's all gone. So that's what I mean by I make sure it's very, very thin if any is on there. Nine times out of ten, all the acrylic comes off due to me letting it sit in the acetone. But just in case you have them little thick spots, you know, you know. <laughs> All right, beauties, here we are going in with my Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue, and I'm going to use the natural tips on the majority of her fingers, and then on her ring finger, I will be going in with a clear tip, because as y'all will see, I will be encapsulating some foil for the first time ever in her nails. I'm excited. So yeah, let's get these tips glued on her, baby.
Now it's time to go ahead and cut it down the length size. She is not a fan of long nails. She'll get it here and there, but she likes her medium to short nails. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it down to what she likes. Here I'm asking pretty much if she likes it or not, if she'll be cool with it. And then once she gives me the green light, I go ahead and just cut the rest. All right, beauties, here I'm going back in with my 180 sanding band to go ahead and file the tips along with the nail bed. Oop, I just burned her. My bad, boo, my bad. I do, you know, you practice makes perfect. You you won't know until you do it. So I did go ahead and turn the speed down because it was too hot for her. I put it on the lowest, lowest setting and I went ahead and just drilled off the excess oils and stuff on, I don't even know if the tips have oils, but all that shine. I removed it with this 180 sanding band just to go ahead and make sure that the acrylic truly, truly sticks. And yeah, your girl's gonna keep it real 100% with y'all. So all my flaws will be shown. I'm not trying to lie. This is part of learning how to be a nail tech, okay? If you're really interested in being one, I say go for it, girl. You will not know what you can do until you do it. So go ahead and get it done, boo. But anywho, I did apologize to her, you know, duh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and get that shine off. Next, I am going to shape up the nail. As you know, we do square over here. I will be doing some coffin and almond, you know, one day. I will try stiletto for sure, but as of right now, you gotta start slow, okay? You try to jump in way too quick, way too fast. It's gonna be a little chaotic. I mean, hey, to each his own, but for me, I'm gonna go slow. So my favorite shape to do so far, as y'all know, is the square, and she loves square, so I'm down for it. So you know what we doing, square. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just file the nail, make sure it's as squared up as possible. Alright y'all, it is application time. Yes, I forgot to hit play, but I remembered and I got it together. But for this acrylic, I did go ahead and mix the fine cut glitter that is right there in the bottom left corner of your screen. Yes, I did go ahead and pour that into some clear acrylic powder to kind of mix it together and give it like a little acrylic glitter combo. And I am just going in with that and putting it on her nail and treating that as my acrylic it does I think I put too much glitter than acrylic powder because it was not really sticking to the monomer on the brush so as you see I kind of have to dip it in weirdly but anywho again you live and you learn so I'm just gonna go in with the pinky and the index finger and I just apply this glitter application to it
So yes, y'all, that is the design we are trying to go for. Obviously, I'm not gonna do the exact design. One, because I don't have those fall leaves that are encapsulated on the ring finger, and two, I do not have white gel color. Yes, girl, I don't have white gel. Ain't that something? But anywho, so I'm pretty much just trying to get the reference of the pinky and the index, so when I also do the diamonds, as y'all will see, y'all see where we got it from. <laughs> All right, and for the middle finger and the thumb, I am just covering completely with clear acrylic powder because that I will be doing the actual um, split color on the nude in the corner, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'll see. But anywho, yes, that bead wanted to act funny, but it's okay because I caught it and I got it on there. <laughs> but anywho, we are at the acrylic application part, so let's get it for the story. Yes, I know it's December, but we still fun to rock with these scary stories because I am a mini horror fan. Okay, thriller, mystery, I love it. And I also tried to find stories that were like romantic and then some that were sweet and then some that were kind of like just happy ending stories. But there's not a lot of short stories like that. And I'm not about to sit here this entire time and tell you like a 15 page book. Sorry, not here. But it's okay because there are themed scary stories. So your girls got a few. But for now, I just want to say one last like little ghost story. And then next time for sure, you will get a Christmas scary story. So are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Do y'all enjoy this? I do. I hope y'all do. But anywho, so this story is called The Ghost at Home. This is a really short one, but it still kind of gave me chill. So, without further ado, here we go. Last night, a friend rushed me out of the house to catch the opening act at a local bar's music night. After a few drinks, I realized my phone wasn't in my pocket. So I checked the table where we were sitting, I checked the bar, the bathrooms, and after no luck, I used my friend's phone to call mine. After two rings, someone answered gave out a low raspy giggle and hung up. They didn't answer again when I called back. I eventually gave it up as a lost cause and just headed home after the night. When I got home, I found my phone laying on my nightstand right where I left it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Now that one gave me chills. I was like, oh, hell nah, that phone would have definitely been in the garbage. But I thought it was still kind of fun. So I hope y'all enjoyed it.
All right, beauties, here I did go ahead and lay the foil onto the nail tip. Yes, I forgot to hit play again. This is stressful, okay? And it's really hard, okay? But I'm gonna get it down packed. Just work with your girl, okay? I'm sorry. But I did go ahead and just cut up some foil and then just gently place it on there with my acrylic brush. And I am now going in with just the clear acrylic to encapsulate it, you know, you know? All right, y'all, so now it is time to go in with my fine nail bit and just go ahead and remove any excess acrylic that may have lumped up in a spot. You know, make sure these bad boys are looking nice. And I completely forgot that I was gonna encapsulate the pinky and the index finger so they do look a little thick, okay? But I do try to make it, you know, as more natural as possible with the fine drill bit. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. All right, y'all, you know I gotta give a little dusty dust cause we gonna make more dust. <laughs> but I'm going in with the coarse nail file and I'm just reshaping the acrylic now. I'm making sure that it doesn't look rounded. I don't know if you can see it there, but the sides look like rounded out cause of the acrylic. So I'm just going back in and reshaping it up, making it look sharp and square. Yes, when I say I file, I file, y'all. Like, I be putting everything into it, blood, sweat, tears when I file. But do y'all see the outcome? Ooh, square everywhere, baby. <laughs> but now I go back in with the 180 sanding band, and I pretty much flip it over, which is why you see the white on the bottom, because I feel like it's on the same client. It definitely shouldn't be no cross-contamination, nothing. But I did go ahead and flip it over so I can now just buff out the acrylic and make sure it's buffed out and smooth then all aligned and all together she had moved a little bit and I kind of like nicked her but she's straight she's straight she thugged it out <laughs> but anywho yes y'all so that is what I'm doing now buffing it out
beauties here I am doing the design with the diamonds like I said I did do the base coat which she's curing now and now I'm going in with a top coat Ooh, yeah that was a lot of top coat but it's okay it's okay I'm gonna wipe it off and we gonna call it a day and I'm pretty much adding in those diamonds onto her nails I use a big circle in the middle and then two small circles on the side and then I go ahead and do the diamond you know at the end and that is pretty much what I grasped from that picture from earlier that's pretty much what I'm trying to mimic so I do the same design on the pinky and the index finger and then later on y'all will see what I do with the other fingers now for the ring finger and the middle finger and the thumb i go ahead and just apply two circles at the bottom as so because she wasn't really wanting a lot of diamonds but i still kind of wanted to be extra with this set so every finger was gonna get a diamond <laughs> so that's what we agreed to so this the ring finger like i said the middle finger and the thumb will have two diamonds on it and then the index and the pinky will get what you see Oh, and yeah, I guess I didn't record the part where I did the brown gel on her middle finger, but yeah, that's how it turned out. That's that's how we looking. That's that's what we rocking with. <laughs> And that is the final look. So these are how they came out. I hope y'all enjoyed today's set. Yes, it's definitely different from all the other ones that I've done. I'm very proud of myself. But until then, beauties, I hope you enjoyed today's full set. Like I said, please subscribe if you have not. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of the story. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye, beauties. And shout out to my MVPs.